Hello guys, welcome again back to the channel. If you are new to the channel, my name is Tristan Mortlock and this is Captain's Vlog. Now, if you haven't already, please subscribe, please hit that like button and please share your comments below. Now today I want to show you guys what's happening on the interior of the boat. We're having all the um, halogen lights changed to LED. Why are we doing that? Because they consume less power, they're a lot cooler, they're not uh, in the summer, the halogens create a lot of heat and heat up the room so the air conditioning systems are working a lot harder the other thing I'm going to show you guys is the bow thruster compartment because the guys are currently servicing the bow thruster and then also to probably do a quick tour of what's happening outside now if any of you are interested in merchandise from the super yacht captain page then please see the link in the description below all right it's going to show you guys what's been done So we're currently here in the master cabin and you can see all the spotlights have been dropped down. They've now been changed to LED. So you can see my fingers against there's no temperature there at all. If I was doing that now in a halogen light, I'll be completely burning my fingers right now. So they're doing all the lighting. They're also having to change the, um, uh, the dimmers as well. So a lot smaller, a lot cooler. And then here, Buongiorno Luca. Buongiorno. All the, old, old. All the old lighting. New, new and, and these, you can see the comparison here. These are the old horrible things for the halogens, which create a lot of temperature. Yeah. These are the horrible, and then look at here with the new ones. Look at the comparison in the size. So it's a lot cooler and a lot safer for the boat. And then this is the dimmer. And this is the dimmer. It's a lot smaller as well. Basically, in here, in the electrical board, the temperature is going to be a lot cooler. And then here, actually, to show you guys while we're here, this is where the emergency fire pump is being taken out and being, being completely reconditioned and serviced by Janeshi. So we'll let Luca to continue. It's a lot of work. Very, very hot. That gets very hot, yeah. You can see there the temperature, the, sorry, the color has changed over time from the temperature, it's gone more yellow. So what we're trying to achieve is to minimize the temperature caused by all electronics on board. So with new, new LED technology is a lot cooler, a lot safer for the boat, and then we're consuming less energy as well. So being a lot more sustainable on board. So as you can see, every day we're not only fixing the boat, we're improving it, we're changing the systems. So let's go through now down we'll go down to the uh, crew mess now so what we've got here is this is a compressed air canister because we're doing a pressure test on the double bottom hole, as you can see here, we've got the two holes here, which will take us down to the keel. And then we've got the, tech, the uh, engineer here working on the bow thruster, but he's got some problems to disconnect her. Remember what it's connected, no? Yeah, let's watch it. Well, basically, what Cristiano is saying here, so this is the shaft that's going through. On the other side of this tunnel is the is the propeller for the bow thruster and basically here it's seized together and he's trying all different types of ways to take it off and he's not succeeding in taking that off but i'm sure he'll continue he's got a heat gun here so basically what happens is when you heat up the steel it hopefully hopefully it will it should expand the metal but uh, he's, he's working on it, he's been on it for, for, since yesterday afternoon, trying to pull this out and he's not succeeding at the moment. So to break it down for you, what's happening in the bow thruster compartment, the um, engineer Cristiano who's working on it, is basically trying to remove 
the shaft that goes through the bow thruster tunnel, which then connects to the gearing, which then gives the drives to the propellers and the bow thruster. Now the thing is over time, over the last 10 years it's not being removed, so with rust and lots of tension and power and movement, it's seized together. So he's creating and building special tools in order to remove it using temperature to expand the steel. But uh, he said it's a bit of patience and he's confident he'll get it out, but he's been on it since yesterday afternoon. And hopefully by lunchtime today it'll be, it'll be out. He's very good, I'm very confident that he will uh, succeed. So for now, let's go check out the engine room and check in with Craig and see what's happening there. Right guys, we're back in the garage with our one and only chief engineer, Mr. Craig Fowl. Hey guys. So Craig, what's happening? What are you working at the moment? Uh, this is the valve system for the Novenco fire suppression system. Um, just uh, sealing it with a bit of uh, horsehair and um, plumbing paste. Lovely. Yeah. And then what? And then you're doing a coating on the outside to prevent any kind of um, like build up of oxidation, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're going to coat it with a bit of um, thinners or lacquer, um, and yeah, it'll prevent the galvanic corrosion and oxidation. So, Great. Yeah. And the other thing you've been working on these valves. So show us these valves you've been working on. So these are the Novenco valves, the isolation valves. All totally reconditioned. Condition. What I found when I disassembled them, the non-return valve was over here, which is a bit pointless because when you try and drain the system, you can't drain it. Non-return valve prevents the drainage of the system. So I've just moved the non-return valve here, put new uh, butterfly valves, uh, given it a bit of a spit and polish, and yeah, new ball valve at the bottom and ready to go. Yeah, and you've done it to three of them. Yep. So that's one, or two, and uh, three there. All right, great. All right, cheers, Craig. Let's go. I'm gonna have a look in the AC room. Hello, sir. Hello again. So, on previous videos, guys, you may remember that I showed you the Novenco system before. It's all kind of like corroded and looking really worse for wear, re need reconditioning. So, it's all mounted here. So what Craig is working on is he's putting it all new together. He's put all new insulation here. Uh, he's doing new valves, uh, new, he's putting new readers on as well, the pressure gauges and the new piping. So this will be all looking nice and new once he's finished his job there. Furthermore, as you may remember, I showed the guys started painting the, um, the trays here for the aircon air units. So it's all looking nice and new and brand new. Very good, very happy with the result. Every single day we're improving the boat. Then what Romy is doing here, he's just masking up to do more painting and I'm guessing you can do lacquer on here as well. Maybe later. Great. Uh, How are you? The, the lights is off now. No, no battery. Ah, no problem. Yeah. Yeah. So, so Roy's basically painting the bilges down in here. It's going to take a look. Yeah. Look at that. Looking all nice, brand new, all yeah. fresh. All the valves have been reconditioned, all the pots have been cleaned out, the strains have been cleaned out. Look at the valves over there, all new. The, 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 the light is up. Yeah, it's okay, it's okay, it's don't worry. So this is, this is basically before, so here he's done all the sanding and chipping, and then he'll clean it, and then when he's ready, he'll, he'll then paint it. Great, thank you very much. And as you can see, guys, on the port side engine, the guys are working on here, it is literally, just the block. The whole thing's been taken off. Total engine rebuild on both sides that we're doing. So when we know now, these engines should be good for another 10 years. So it's basically brand new engines, to, so to speak. So they'll be all being tested. They're gonna be sent to Caterpillar for ultras ultrasonic testing. So that will calculate any kind of fractures or cracks or anything wrong with the block to the engines. And then Alessio, who's running the team, he's then putting, going to build it all back together. Very happy with Caterpillar here in VA Ratio. LNS, that's the name of the company, LNS. Uh, very good workers and always find um, solutions to all the problems. A lot of technicians come to me with problems, not solutions, and, um, but these guys come to me with solutions, not problems, which I really like. So that's pretty much before. 
and they haven't started on this one yet but this is what it should kind of normally look like so you can see they've taken a lot of hardware off close to a ton of hardware they've taken off the port engine that's great okay thank you guys Cheers that Craigie. So guys, I'm really happy with the progress so far. So as previously mentioned, um, not only are we just doing a 10 year survey and a respray, we are improving the boat every single day, updating the systems, uh, problem solving. As you heard Craig, there's an issue with a non-return valve because they've placed it in the wrong place. So he says basically every day we are improving the boat and I'm very confident by the time we're launched, we will probably be, if not the best uh, second-hand San Lorenzo on the market and also available for charter. So uh, hopefully everything stays positive and we're continuing um, growing this wonderful yacht. And I uh, hope you guys stay tuned. I hope you enjoy this video. Again, please like, please subscribe, and please also share with your friends and family. Any questions, I believe I've answered almost 99% of questions posted on this uh, YouTube channel. So do ask your questions. Uh, I am getting a lot of questions also through Instagram, so thank you very much. There is the Super Yacht Captain page, so any questions you ask through there on the Super Yacht Captain Facebook page, I will be answering. So thanks again, guys, for watching. Stay tuned, a lot more to come.